that's three quarter inch. And we need to get, so here we go from the main line and we need to branch off and make a toilet. Here, and I've measured it to length. So I'm gonna set this down and I'm actually just gonna take that off because the main toilet on there. And, the, and there's a picture of a toilet here that I showed you. This is that tiny piece of this, this three quarter inch pipe that I two crimp rings and a little tiny short stub of pipe right here, three quarter inch pipe. Another tack right here straight from the meter and it comes in the house and I'm gonna show you right where it kicks in the house. Uh, it goes underneath the foundation about two feet down. It'll go from the meter on the house side. You'll dig down and find it. Dig it all the way to the house, go down about two feet, go underneath the house and then crawl underneath the house to that spot and dig it up on the other side underneath the house where they meet. Kick it up out of the ground, connect onto it. And that's where we're, what I'll start showing. A toilet in there, it comes up out of the ground got a couple of 90s comes over here goes underneath I've got a clip right there is a clip and it keeps running all the way to the hot water heater okay comes up the hot water heater and it's three quarter inch and we need to get to a half inch for the toilet so here it is right here here's some plumbing parts and I got them all laid out and I've got some reducers from three quarter inch to half inch, a couple of nineties and a, you know, I've got them kind of laid out here. If you need to go back for a reference. Okay. And here's the cutters and the crimp tool. And then I've got a bunch of um, rings and clips right here. Anyway, so here we go from the main line and we need to branch off and make a toilet. So here's the toilet right here. And all I have is a 90 and a short strip of pipe. And I've cutting it off this big roll of pipe right here and I've measured it to length. So I'm gonna set this down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this little piece of pipe and this 90, I've already crimped it on here. I've pre-crimped this. And I'm going to take this off so you can see how easy this is. This is a shutoff. And on this end is a little nut, so don't let that confuse you. And I'm actually just going to take that off because for me, it's trash and I need this end. So this other end goes directly on here. But first, you're going to need one of these. And you're going to put one of these on the pipe like this. And then put that on there like that. Okay. And that, make sure that's facing upwards. You want it facing up like this and put that where you can get your crimp tool to it. So I want it about like that. But first, I'm gonna put this together too. So let's get another ring. Put the ring on there first and then stick this on there. Okay, now I'm gonna get my tool and I'm gonna start with this side. Make sure this is all right here. First, before we crimp it, yep, that looks good. Okay, put the tool on there, get it straight. And I use my leg to make it tight, but if you're under a house, you're just gonna have to, it's, you're just gonna have to get it done. Okay, this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Put the tool on there, get it straight. Take your time, because it sucks taking these things apart. Okay, so that's done. Okay, now that goes through the floor. And this side's done. I'm gonna show you what this does though. There's a 20 inch toilet, seven eighths inch to three eighths inch for it. And it says toilet on there. And, the, and there's a picture of a toilet on there. So one end is big and it has a plastic end. And the other end is metal. This metal end replaces this piece that I just threw off in the trash because I don't need that. This end goes on here and you'll want to use like Teflon tape. Um, but just for this video I'm showing you, you could use some Teflon tape on there. And then this side connects to your toilet tank, okay? So this bottom side, let's keep going and I'll show you how this, the rest of this works. Um, let me grab this tool really fast. I'm going to crimp this piece on here that I showed you. This is that little reducer 
that looks like this. It's three quarter inch to half inch. And I'm gonna crimp that on here. And also, um, what I've done here on this piece is I have a little tiny piece of this, this three quarter inch pipe that I cut, a little tiny strip right here. So it has two crimp rings on this T. There's a T and I've cut the line, put in a T, and then I've crimped, uh, put two crimp rings and a little tiny short stub of pipe right here, three quarter inch pipe. That way I can connect to the three quarter inch to go down to the, the half inch. I'm gonna tighten this down. Okay, now that's tightened down. Now we need to measure this way. And that's, I'm gonna go 18, 18 inch. Take a piece of this pipe, and all I do is because it's round like this, it's rounded, so I just stretch it out like this, and you just I just kind of make it straight, and then I take measuring tape 18 inches, it's right here, and you can straighten it out till you're happy. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna get a crimp ring like that and put it on there. We're gonna stick it on the pipe. Now that we're half inch. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this down. Okay, now that that's tight. Now it's blue, so we know it's cold. This is cold water and I'm gonna put another 90 on right here. So we're gonna put a ring on first, and then a 90, and we're gonna crimp that piece on right now so we don't forget about it. This is an all-inclusive text video. Okay, so that's 90. Now we want another piece of pipe and another 90. So let's put another 90 in right here. Like this. And okay, we're gonna crimp that on. Okay, same way. And take your time. Don't, don't get in a hurry doing this. Like I said, it, it's not fun taking these apart. Okay, so that's crimped on there. Now we're going to get the measuring tape and we're going to go, uh, let's just do 10 inches. All, because you don't want to forget them later. That's not going to be fun. Okay, this one's going to be kind of hard to get to. I'm going to put it right there and it's going to be kind of hard. Some of them are. Okay, that's tight on there. Now you see how that's all put together, and once I put a piece of wood in here, I'll put a, another tack right here to hold this all together, and this won't interfere with my with my beam and my wood.